Hello, welcome to Edubay Dynamic Solution. Today, we will be discussing different types of computers. Firstly, we have a personal or desktop computer, PC. A personal computer is a general-purpose computer comprising a separate monitor, or LCD, liquid crystal display, keyboard, mouse, and processing unit. Now, let's look at the advantages of a personal computer. A. Spare parts are standardized and have lower cost. B. Better specification for a given price. C. Fixed in one location results in less likelihood of getting damaged. D. As they are not moved around, internet access is more stable. Disadvantages of personal or desktop computers are A. They are not portable. B. They take up more desk space. C. All the components are to be carried away if it is necessary to move it. D. They mostly work on external power sources. Now we move to the second type of computer which is laptop or notebook. A laptop refers to a type of computer where the monitor, keyboard, mouse, and processor are all together in one single unit. The advantages of a laptop are as follows. A. It is lightweight as it is not as heavy as desktops. B. It is portable as it is easier to move around. C. Users can take full advantage of Wi-Fi. D. There are no trailing wires. While the disadvantages are A. Since they are portable, they are easier to steal. B. They have limited battery life. C. They are more expensive than desktop computers. D. They are easier to break due to mobility. The next type of computer we are discussing now is tablets. Tablets refers to a new internet-enabled portable mobile phone-like device having a touchscreen, multi-touch technology, cameras, and microphones. We also have the advantages of tablets which are A. Very fast to switch on. B. Fully portable compared to laptops. C. They are built-in apps. D. The battery life is a lot longer than a laptop as it generates less heat. And disadvantages which are A. Limited memory and storage space. B. Can be expensive. C. Typing on touch screens can be slow. D. It does not support all file formats. The next type of computer is smartphone. Smartphones allow phone calls but also have an operating system, iOS, Android, or Windows, that allows several apps to run on a touch screen. They have numerous functions such as sending and receiving email, GPS, VoIP, streaming music, calendar, SMS, alarm, and clock. Advantages of a smartphone include A. Small in size and weight. B. Can be used to make phone calls and instant messaging. C. Reasonable battery lifetime. D. As they use Wi-Fi, they can be used anywhere. E. They have hundreds of apps, such as camera facility, MP3, etc. And disadvantages which are A. Small screens make pages difficult to read. B. Web browsing on mobile data can drain a lot of battery. C. Easy to get stolen. D. Data transfer rate using mobile phones is slow as compared to computers. Now, we also have smartwatches as a type of computer. Smartwatch allows a user to wear a mini computer on their wrists. They have a touch screen and offer almost the same function as a smartphone, and also can link with smartphones using Bluetooth technology. They offer internet connectivity, phone calls, messaging, GPS, and fitness health monitoring capability. The advantages of a smartwatch are A. Easy to monitor health and fitness. B. More convenient to use since they deliver notifications straight to the user's wrist. While the disadvantages are A. Small screens. B. More often unattractive as compared to normal watches. Lastly, we have mainframe computers. The term is used for a large, very powerful computer system used to run commercial applications such as banking. They have several CPUs, very fast processors, huge storage, and multiple operating systems. Now that we've covered the essential concepts in this chapter, I'll present a few past year questions related to the topic. Feel free to write down these questions and answer them accordingly. If needed, you can pause the video. If you've grasped the material well, 
you should be able to answer the following question. We also provide online tuition in case you need one. Question 1. Smartphones and smartwatches can be used in everyday life. A smartwatch is a wearable computer in the form of a wristwatch. A. Apart from accessing the internet, give three other uses of a smartphone. B. Give two advantages of using a smartwatch rather than a smartphone. C. Give two disadvantages of using a smartwatch rather than a smartphone. Question 2. A group of students are producing a class newsletter, which they will email to parents of students in the class. They are deciding whether to use a laptop computer or a smartphone to type the newsletter. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using a laptop computer rather than a smartphone for this purpose. Question 3. Many people are now using smart devices such as smartwatches. Tick whether the following statements most appropriately refer to a desktop computer, a tablet computer, or a smartwatch. 1. A computer made up of separate units. 2. Is an example of wearable technology. 3. A portable device that allows text to be typed relatively easily. 4. Most easily used for fitness and health monitoring by runners. Question 4. For each application tick the most appropriate type of computer to match the description. 1. A computer that is only used in one place. 2. Must always be connected to an external power source to work. 3. Small enough to fit into a pocket. 4. A mobile device with a large keyboard and display. Question 5. Smartphones are being increasingly used by tourists when traveling overseas. Discuss, using examples, the benefits and drawbacks of the use of smartphones by tourists.